Hello, hello. Let's play Champions of Midgard. We've got a classic red versus blue situation going. For the blue side, we have Allur the Berserker. And they gain one glory each time they roll one or more two hit results in a round of combat. On the red, we have Gilfer the Seaworthy. And Gilfer does not pay when visiting the merchant ship. We each start with a swordsman, a food, a wood, a coin, and a favor token. They each also have a secret destiny card that will earn them points at the end of the game. Um, oh, I forgot to flip over the troll card. So that is a troll worth seven glory. We need to attack it for two, and it fights back for three. We've got, let's see, a red draugr, a blue draugr, or a lot of red monsters. But we won't be sailing anytime soon. First, let's build up our supply. Blue will go first. And, yeah, they're just going to start by collecting warriors. Red will do the same. Um, let's see. Blue will sort of make sure that they can attempt the troll. Red uh, will happily take his free stuff from the merchant ship. So that's two food and a wood. Blue is gonna go here to pay one food and recruit two swordsmen. Red will happily take the free swordsman. And for now, I think Blue's gonna take a couple of bucks. Whereas Red is going to fight a Draugr. Let's see which one. Uh, I mean, they're essentially the same. They're both worth three. Uh, but he'll fight the blue one. Okay, no more meeples, so we start combat. Starting with the troll, and blue will assign all four. All four dice or just three? Yeah, no, no, all four dice. Let's go. And uh, we'll reserve this section over here for dice. Uh, okay, uh, so I did punch him for two. I only blocked one, so I do lose two. Uh, and I rolled a double, which is sort of Uller's Al special powers. So automatically, that's one bonus point. Uh, but we do lose two, so we're gonna get rid of the swords. I get to keep these. And earn myself seven glory. Assign blame, which is worth negative points at the end of the game. And I've earned myself a wood. Okay. Red now will be fighting the blue draugr. And, you know what, he's only going to assign two. He just needs to hit for one. Uh, okay. 
didn't hit, but that's two shields, so he also doesn't lose any uh, fighters, so he can roll again. And there we go, we've got the one hit. They do lose, so we're gonna get rid of that one. And he's earned himself three glory. And a coin. That was round one. Let's move our marker to round two. Replenish. We've got a new troll worth three glory. A new Draugr worth six, and it's a yellow one. Let's see. New white, new red, new black, another food. A new merchant ship has entered the bay here. Ooh. And you get two axemen. I believe that's all this setup. Blue is going to start right off the bat by getting two coins. Red will happily take his free two fighters. Blue does need more fighters, so they're going to go here and grab that. Red will go here and grab that. Blue is going to come over here and pay five coins to get their extra meeple. Red is definitely going to try to fight the troll and blue is gonna go ahead and try to fight the draugr let's see where will red go they mean they kind of have enough to also fight a draugr Yep. Yep. He's going into combat twice. And blue. Uh, maybe for safety, grab that other white. Okay. So that's it. We start with combat on the troll. Uh, so in this case, it's going to assign. He's going to split the difference and at least do one and one. And they're both pretty weak for fighting back. So maybe he's going to keep it simple and do that. He's going to keep one in reserve. Mm. No, he's also going to assign the white one to the troll. Okay. Let's see how he does. Just needs two hits, which he more than gets, but he does lose a dice, so he's going to lose the white one. And red gets three victory points, or glory. Gets to assign blame to blue, and earns himself a wood. And he keeps these. Then he fights the Red Draugr. Just needs one hit. Oof. Which he does, but he does lose one dice. So I'm gonna do that. And he gets three more. Plus a coin. Oops. Go. Blue's turn. And blue will assign all four dice. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Ooh. Uh, I get one each time I roll a double hit, so that's two. Right there. I more than hit him. And I even blocked him for one, so I only lose one dice. So we'll lose that one. I get to keep these. And blue gets six. Plus four coins. There we go. Okay. That's round two. Our new troll is worth four. We get two new draugers worth three and five. Our new ship will give us two red. Got a white, a red, a black, another food, and we move up the marker. Okay. And Uller is going to block the merchant ship from red, so they will pay a coin and get themselves two spears. Red will... they need coins before they can buy their other worker. So they're going to go to the wealthy stranger and get two coins. Blue is going over to the shipwright. They're going to pay two wood and two coin. Well, yeah, two wood and two coin to get the bigger ship. Here we go, Drakkar. With a capacity of eight, and you get eight victory points for purchasing. Okay, red. Red wants to fight the troll. Blue needs food, so they're gonna come here and grab that up. Red is going to grab another Axeman. I, th I think Blue's gonna go on a voyage. I think they can afford a voyage. That's pretty exciting. So we're gonna do that. Go get that one. Red. Let's see, do you want? Could get more swordsmen. I don't know if that's helpful. You know what? He's going to go to the rune smith, spend a wood, and I like the look of this one. Healing. Negate the losses suffered in a single round of combat. Feel like that'll come in handy later. And you get two glory for that. And now blue still has another meeple. I'm tempted to fight a draugr, but... Perhaps, perhaps that's a bad idea. Hmm. Guess how many? I can fit eight. I only need to hit for two and block for one. So that's pretty reasonable. So if I did, say, three of these. That should more than kill the Ilvat. Do I have enough to kill the Draugr? Uh, I could definitely, I think, handle 
the yellow one hmm or do I sort of keep this in reserve nah you know what let's just go for it so just to make sure we remember what our plan is This is also going under the assumption that this will say all clear. We have no idea. Um, okay. You know what? If it does say, oh, should I give it an extra food just in case? No, you know what? It'll, it'll all turn out okay. I've decided. Um, okay. Now the red, fighting the troll, he's going to assign three. So let's start with that. Uh, three, hits it for three, loses one. Uh, he's going to lose, well, based on that. Okay, we'll do that. No problem, four glory. A blame to Uller and a wood for Gilfer. Okay, blue. Uller is now fighting the yellow Draugr. Just needs to hit him for one. Which he does. He loses one, that's okay. Okay. Three glory. One coin. And now, the moment of truth. We're going on a voyage. Please be all clear. Please be all clear. Please be all clear. Oh, it's all quiet. My apologies. All quiet. Excellent. Traveling down. I pay, or rather I feed my warriors who are now ready to fight the Ilvat. I just need to hit him for two, which I don't, but you know what? I'm going to cash in my glory, which lets me re-roll any number. So let's re-roll these. Hope I get a shield and a hit. Okay, at least I got a hit, so Ilvate is done for, but I do lose a warrior. Let's see, I gain seven. And a glory, or sorry, a favor token. That's the end of round three. ship is three food. Our new monster is Crimthers. Or Hrimthers? Hrimthers. Our new troll is worth six. Our new draugr is worth five. We've got a new, new rune. Gifts. Gain any combination of four of wood, food, or money. Well, that's excellent. And I think I've updated everything, so on to round four. Uh, oh, I forgot to bring back the ship. Okay, so blue is still first. We also need to refresh our, our 
thing there. Um, but they will go ahead and immediately go for that blue monster. Meanwhile, red. Yeah, red. Oh, they need to pay. Yeah, they need their new meatballs. There we go. Four coins to get their meatball. Let's see. Blue is going to the merchant ship to pay one coin and get three foods. Red. Um, okay. Too bad there's no yellow monster. They need a yellow to finish their, their little triad of colors. I think they just need to go back to that troll. Keep assigning blame to blue, which would be bad, later on. Blue, meanwhile, needs to start gathering fighters. So, they're gonna grab these two. Red should really start thinking about purchasing ship. So, they're gonna go here, pay one coin and one wood. to buy the Snekia with a capacity of 6 and they get 4 victory points let's see blue hmm <laughs> Should we start setting blue up for future rounds and get you more fighters? Yeah. Let's do that to grab these two. Um, no, because you've got a fight, so you're not quite ready unless we get you more fighters go here and grab this and blue right. okay well I think we can do a fight as well so let's go for this one Okay, first let's make sure we're assigning everything appropriately. Oh no, nope, red still has a dude. Um, and we're just gonna go here and grab a couple of coins. There. Uh, okay, so on my ship that can have a capacity of eight, I can't use spears. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, four of these, two of these, and you know what? We're gonna throw one more on there just in case. Does that make sense? Yeah. Just in case. You never know. Uh, okay, and then they're gonna assign three here. And for the troll, he's going to assign three. So we start with the troll. Okay, more than kills the troll, but he does lose two because he did not defend. But that's six. 
plus a wood and another blame token. Yeah, I think blue has no choice and must start hopping on the troll. Uh, okay, blue to fight. They need two hits. Give me a double. Give me a double and a shield. Okay, no, two doubles though, so blue does get two points for that. Uh, but they didn't defend at all, so they do lose two. Um, and we get five. Plus three coins. Okay. And now, the voyage. Come on, all quiet. Nope. Lost. Lose two items. Um, okay, so we're gonna lose a food and a fighter. That is unfortunate, but that's why we planned ahead, because I still have enough food to feed the remaining. So, now we fight Rinsers. And first, oops, we feed before they fight, you know, give them all the protein. The energy. Here we go. Uh, oh yeah, more than beat them, but lost all of them. <laughs> That's all of my dice. That's unfortunate. Um, but, you know, it, it is what it is. I do get 12 glory. And a favor token. Okay, that ends round four. That's a troll worth seven, a red dragger worth three, another blue monster worth seven, our new merchant ship is bringing two foods and a wood, Round five. Um, okay, so blue, we discussed, must fight the troll. So we'll send blue over there. Red, probably gotta start thinking about fighting a monster, but does need new fighters, well, unless he goes for blue. Hmm. Or does he go for the one worth 12? He's already got two axes. Yeah, uh, ooh. He'll go here. Hmm, to spend a food. Yeah, he'll spend a food to get two swords. Blue definitely needs fighters, so we'll go grab that. Red. Uh, so they're in a capacity six. six. Okay, so yeah, he's gonna go ahead and do this to try to fight this one. So let's grab that. Um, I think... 
gonna use up all of his things, so you might as well just grab another for later. That stops Blue from getting one. Um, do I ever really need wood? No, in theory, I'm about to get a wood there anyway. Um, well, no, I'll go here. I'll take the food for later. Red. We know he's gonna go to the Stave Church, spend a coin, and get a favor token. right now. You know, let's just see what destiny awaits us. So do we just uh, look at one face down journey card? Oh, oh, I see. So look at one face down journey card and then take a sage. Okay, so we're going to look at this one. Okay, and take a new destiny. Okay. And red. Um, yeah, and again, a move to set up. Plus, it's free. You can just take two food and a wood. Uh, okay. Combat. Blue is assigning all three to the troll. Okay, we did defeat the troll, but we've lost all three of them. That's unfortunate. When we get seven glory, a wood, and move blame. Wait a minute. I have a question about blame. Is it always from there, or are we reassigning? the blame token. I think I'm supposed to reassign, not get new ones. Hmm. Let's quickly double check blame. Okay. Blame. Ah, yes, I've been doing blame wrong. Okay. So if no player kills the troll, each player takes a blame token. If any player kills the troll, the player who killed the troll discards one of their blame tokens, if they have any, and selects another player to take a blame token from the supply. Um, okay, so let's rectify. Uh, so they have two and I only have, sorry, they have three trolls, I only have two trolls. So I think this makes sense. And then I assign and selects to take one blame token from the supply, but I mean, I'm discarding it, it can just go over there. Okay. I think it's rectified. I could be wrong. We're just gonna move forward properly from now on. Okay. There we go. Um. Uh, so, okay, that was that. No one's fought anything here. So it is now up to Red, 
is going to assign four, five, six. So he's on a full ship here. He red wants all quiet. Is he gonna get it? No, he's gotta fight a kraken for two. Oof. Okay. He's gonna do this. Does he re-roll? Yeah. This and honestly, he's just gonna re-roll both. He wants a double and a shield. Okay, but that's all right. We've hit him for one. We've blocked for one. So we get to re-roll. We just need to hit him one more time. Ooh, <laughs> we're going to re-roll. Oh wait a minute. Uh, no, okay. I feel like save the healing card for when we're fighting the actual enemy here. So we just spend the favor, reroll, perfect. We've blocked and we've hit the final one. So there we go. He actually gets to keep both of these. And he's earned himself three extra glory. Um, oh, that goes here after. Okay. Uh, all right, time to fight. Oh, wait. I did this wrong. This is a two to one. I did it as if it was two to one, but this is a one to one. Uh, okay, well, mm, I really messed up. Okay. We're gonna keep it kind of going. We'll put that there. He fought that one. This was me not paying attention. I'm not going to penalize Red. We're just gonna move him over there. Um, so now he'll fight according to the two to one rules. And now he's fighting the blue, Elvate. So here we go. Just needs to hit for two which in more than hits, only losing one. Gets a favor back, moves up seven. There we go. Keeps these. Okay, that was round five. use axes here, and we can't use spears here. Um, with a yeah, capacity 6 ship, he should stick to these two lanes anyway. But no swords. Okay, well, that means he needs spears. And blue definitely needs um, everything, so so replenish that. Um, let's see. Three. Well, maybe not yet. Maybe more. Hmm. There 
there isn't a way to get more axemen or spears. Only swords. That's unhelpful. Um, is three enough? Ah, I don't know. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll just fight a regular Draugr and save the sailing for the next round. Um, let's see, three or five, he's gonna fight. Yeah, he'll be fine here. Uh, okay. Blue's gonna come over here, pay a food to recruit some swords. Red will come take his free stuff, so two foods and a wood. Blue will come here to take a sword. Red would like another favor token. Blue's gonna attempt to fight the Draugr. And Red... Hmm. Yeah, why doesn't he come here, spend a wood, and grab... I think this one. This is the good one. On your turn, you can gain any combination or maybe it happens immediately. Is this a, a right now situation? Maybe let's assume it's a right now situation. So gifts. Gain any combination of four. I mean, food, very important for sailing. Money is good for buying favors. I think he, favors give you point at the end of the game. So maybe he'll do two coins and two food. And he bought it, so he gets two glory. Okay. I've, blue has two fights, red has one. So we're going to assign these two, and these two, and red. Can't use spears, so he'll do these three. Okay. Just need to hit you two times, that's all. Give me a nice double. A double! Actually, more than that. I hit him for three, but I didn't block, so I do lose one. But I beat the troll, so I get three. Oh, and there was that double, so I get my one. Um, I don't have any more blame, so you get a brand new blame token. And now I get a wood. Red is fighting the Draugr, so he only needs to hit him for one, which luckily he did. Lo they fight back for two, so you lose these ones, but he gets five plus two coins. And now it is Blue's turn. Couple of swordsmen. Oh, and I got my double, so plus one. Three, so I do lose one. Keep one. I get three. And a coin. Oh, right. That was round six. Okay, uh, bring everyone back. 
first. ship uh, for a black and a red. Uh, did I update everything? Oh no, a new rune, which is oh, worth three glory. Shield results also deal one damage. Microphone is directly <laughs> like blocking my view, so I don't always think about it. But there we go. They're gonna spend a buck, get a black and a red. Now red is going to get on the ship, and I believe it was this one that we wanted because it's no swords. Blue. I think blue's going to come here. Spend a wood to grab this one, where shield results also count. Okay, red. Come to the church. And if he spends three coins, can get two favor tokens. Um, okay, blue, 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 blue. Fight the troll. Red. Perhaps set himself up for next round by grabbing a couple of swordsmen and blue will grab another axeman and red do the same, get another sword Let's allocate our resources now. How will I divvy up Troll versus Draugr? Hmm. So the Axemen don't have shields, so we definitely need at least one and one to act as shields. That only needs to hit one, and this needs to hit for two. Well, we'll hope for the best. 
Um, let's see, you grab all four of these and two food and you're gonna hope for the best while uh, traveling through the high seas. But we start with the troll. So let's see, we just need to hit one and it would be nice if we could shield for at least one. Okay, that's zero, zero, so we're going to re-roll. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Re-roll. <laughs> okay, well there's my one hit, but I lose both die. So four. Blame. Yeah, they're gonna need to get on the troll next time. Uh, and I get a wood. Okay, now we are fighting the dragger. Uh, oh wow, okay. Yep, more than uh, defeats. And I blocked for one, so I only lose one. There we go. I get five. Three coins. And now the voyage for Gilfer. What happens? All quiet. Very lucky. So he's going to feed his crew. And now do battle against the Drekki. Uh, oh, yeah, and absolutely annihilates him. And now he would lose three dice. But he's going to apply the healing card, negate the losses suffered in a single round of combat. So he loses nothing, gains 15, and a favorite token. to keep all of his dice, which is huge. Okay. Our new monster is a yellow Drekki. journey card you just revealed. Draw and resolve the next one in the deck. Interesting. Okay. The last merchant gives you three swords. Okay. The last round. as I would have wanted blue for, I mean, both of them need blue monsters. It didn't flop, so we're just gonna have to go on a little voyage. But we'll need dudes, and we'll need food. So we're gonna start off here, pay a dollar, get three swords.
red. Definitely also going on a journey with all of these. Um, and looks like he's gonna go after that yellow one. Uh, but first, he's gonna block the troll. Blue needs food, so there we go. Red. Claim that one. Okay, um, gonna do that one. Also fighting that, so what sort of mentally prepare what you're gonna give? Oh, you can't use swords. You'll use swords for the troll and these for the drakey. Okay, that's fine. I mean, if you wanted another one for the troll, because why not? Well, no, you'd only lose one every time. Uh, why don't you buy yourself another favor token? Um, when what am I sending? I'm sending four, so I only have one. Mm, I don't know. What's going to give me... Favor. I guess that's what I should focus on. Don't maybe need buying. Oh, if I guess if I do this, pay the wood to get the journey. Discard a journey card you just revealed, and draw and resolve the next one in the deck. So if it's really bad, I can use this to change the journey card. Okay, so, but I get two. Okay, here. Where else can you get... Well, you never know what might happen. So look at... At least now we can plan. Okay, so he's gonna get hit with a storm of lose a food or a dude. Okay, that's that's good information. Uh, and now he gets a new card. Okay. Thing is, I don't remember what earns you points at the end of the game. I'm sure favor is one of them. But I don't know if coins turns into anything. Okay, so it's like, you know, do I just get two coins just for fun? Okay, so it is, you get a glory for each three coins. So just getting two doesn't actually do anything for me. I can't get favor because he's already there. Hmm. I don't know, do I just try to like fight the easiest dragger just because I've got one one dude left and just hope that it's a hit? Maybe that's the play. And similarly any coins? You don't have coins, so that's useless to you. I mean, you could go here and... But you need the food. How much food do you need? You need at least two. Um, or actually, you need three. can't have more than what's than your 
capacity. So we'll do it that way. Um so I guess there's nothing for you to do. Cause you're already fighting the tr unless you fight the other Draugr and we just apportion the the dice. Mm, yeah, there's no point going hunting. There's no point getting two coins. You don't have the food to get two uh, swords. I mean, you could take the first player marker and just get another sword, but that's kind of pointless. Yeah, you know what? Let's, it's the final round. Let's be risky. Okay. Oh, and maybe because I'd used that, I'll sort of flip it over to say that it was used. Um, okay. Let's battle. Uh, okay, so for the troll, giving you this. For the dragger, it's this. Your boat will do that. My boat will do that. There we go. Um, and <laughs> leaving me with one single sword for that. Why not? Okay. Let's go. Troll first. You need three hits. But nothing. So you did get a shield that blocked the one. So you just get to go again. The exact same thing happened, so let's keep rolling. One hit. And you lose this one, unless you want to re-roll. Not yet. We'll re-roll this one if bad things happen. Nope. Two knocks him out. You lose the red one, but that's no, not a big deal at this point in the game. Or blame and wood. Okay. Blue just needs to hit for one. Okay, that's again interference with the board. So we're re rolling. Oh, 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 shield. <laughs> Do I want to use this? Shield results also deal one damage. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Why not? Using that, which means this is gone. So I get three. Plus a coin that doesn't really do anything for me, but it's okay. Okay, red. Finding the red dragger. Blocked one, so you don't lose any dice. Keep going. Double. So he's dead. You lose one. Four glory. Two coins. Okay, the journey. So we knew he was going to lose one, so we brought extra food. There we go. Feed your crew, sir. And now... Just needs two hits. Oh my god. Okay, no. He's absolutely... There was nothing. No results. So he's using the favor to re-roll. Okay, there we go. Hits him for more than is needed. Although, he loses all this, 
with knives, that's okay. There we go, 15. Plus the favor token. Um, okay, so remembering that I do have a journey rune. Lost. Lose two items. Can I afford that? Maybe, but you know, we have it, so we might as well use it. Discard a journey card you just revealed. Draw and resolve the next one. Be better than that. Be all clear. Be all clear. All quiet. <laughs> okay, that worked. That worked. Excellent. There we go. All quiet. Traveling down. Feeding my crew. And let's go. We just need to hit Hrimthers for one. That's it. That's all that we need. And I got a double, so I get one. I do lose three of them, but again, it doesn't really, doesn't really matter. There we go. Now I get 12. everything here. That was the end of the eighth round, so we go into scoring. I mean, it looks like blue's ahead. We don't know how long that will last, because they've got a ton. They have a ton of favors. And, uh, you don't know what the secret objectives are. Let's, let's resolve red first. So, uh, okay, so we are going to start with the destiny cards. Uh, so, red will score four, yeah, four glory if they have the most favor at the end of the game, which they do. There we go. And they score four if they have the most runes at the end of the game, uh, but they are actually tied, so instead they only get two. And I don't think the other person gets two. Yeah, okay, no. Perfect, okay, so that's taken care of. Now let's look at our monster deck, because you get points for every, like, yellow, blue, red set. Um, okay, so only one set, but let's see. The townspeople are impressed with your ability to brave varying combat conditions. Score five for each complete set. Okay. We resolved the runes in play. Same thing with the longships. Uh, okay. Favor. One favor equals two glory. So one. Six, so you get twelve. We've rounded the corner. And then you have three coins. We'll give you one, he's only got two. But blame, he's got two blame. So that's minus three. Oh, so he's right there. I think blue has this, but let's see. We'll start with the destiny cards. 
have the most troll cards at the end of the game. So we've got four over here and four over here. So that's just a tie, uh, but in this case, that a tie is worth three. The other one is have the most Draugr cards at the end of the game. One, two, three, four, five, six Draugr cards versus one, two, three, four, five. So they did get more Draugrs. Uh, have the most Draugr cards. So seven points. It almost seems unfair that both of Blue's Destiny cards were just worth more. Now, how many sets? I think they only got one set as well, yeah? There just weren't any blue monsters in play. So only one set. Four, five. Um, so two favors, so that's four, and three bucks, I only get two here, and one is minus one. Okay, yeah, there's nothing about, you know, if you have dice at the end of the game, get more points. So there we have it. Blue wins with a score of 115 to 100. Still pretty close game overall. I really, really enjoy Champions of Midgard. Especially when there's more players, because then they'll, you know, they're always in your way, taking your spots. You know, I never really, I didn't even use the the first player token to like trade it off. I never went hunting. Like, when there's only two players, there's usually enough spaces. So some of them don't get used quite as often. Uh, but yeah, great game. It's like Lords of Waterdeep plus, in my opinion, because I like the randomness of the rolling the dice. I love worker placement games. You never know what's going to happen when you roll that dice. And I like the secret objectives. The annoyance of not having any blue monsters. Let's see. Oh, there's a blue. And there's a blue. Of course, the next two are blue. What do we have here? Okay, a yellow one. And a yellow one. Those blue monsters hiding. That's okay. Thank you so much for watching me play Champions of Midgard. If you've never played it, highly recommend. And if you have played it, uh, who's your favorite character to play as? Both of these I find are very strong. You know, not having to pay for stuff at the ship. Excellent. And constantly getting those little plus one bonuses every time. As you can see, it adds up really quickly. Uh, so yeah, these are my two favorite to play with, but tell me what you think. That is, if you're still even awake, and if you are still awake, uh, please like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, you know the drill. And otherwise, sweet dreams. <laughs>